The other thing I could actually quickly just show you too is I just forgot to do this before, we'll back on the screen saver again, um, is um, uh, the fact that also there are a lot of standard um, sort of pause and fast forward controls that, that are provided with this uh, uh, Xbox Media Center edition. So uh, once this has just started up, um, I can uh, pause it and you can actually see it has a, shows a little box at the top uh, corner there telling you uh, how many minutes out of how many total minutes are available. I can start it up again. Um, I can actually go in big jumps. So um, these are sort of you know blocks of about a minute or two um, at a time. So I can actually quite quickly jump into various scenes of the show. Um, I can also um, uh, sort of fast forward. So I can go two times, four times, uh, eight times, etc. It goes up to, up to about 32 times and uh, it's a great way to uh, quite easily uh, uh, fast forward uh, through the shows. And I've actually found that some other products I've used in the past, such as Pinnacle Show Center and D-Link, uh, that also have a media center, um, uh, that uh, the um, the interface on this is far better. Uh, it's it's like comparing Windows 3.1 with Windows XP or Windows Vista in terms of uh, how much more sleek and advanced the interface is on this Xbox Media Center. Um, so I'll just go back to the main menu now. So that's just an idea of some of the videos there. Actually, no, I'll go back into the videos because one of the things I forgot to show you was um, one of the other things, for instance. Yeah, and so th these are some TV shows. The other things I do are podcasts, which is quite interesting. So, for instance, um, there are actually, you know, most people have heard of podcasts now, the, uh, which is, you know, is sort of what I'm doing here, a video podcast. So I have a whole bunch of podcasts that I, I listen to, but there are also, so but there are both audio and there are video podcasts. So in, in this case here, there are actually some um, audio, uh, sorry, some video podcasts that um, I uh, watch. So, for instance, I, um, the, these are all, uh, automatically downloading basically onto my computer through software that I've got set up upstairs. And if I go to the latest episode here, this is called uh, DLTV. And so this, is, again, is a show, uh, you know, a sort of um, a TV type show, except that it's not done for commercial TV. It's specifically done on uh, on and for the internet. So this is entirely something that you would never actually see on commercial TV. You, if you wanted to, you wouldn't be able to access it because um, as far as I know, it's not actually uh, been uh, sort of syndicated for that sort of medium. It's purely something that is done um, as, a, um, um, as a video show. And um, this happens to be a technical, a sort of computer uh, show, but there's various uh, different types of shows that are available. Some are more professionally done than others, some are uh, quite slick, some are a little bit... Um, so this, for instance, you can see has some quite sophisticated opening titles. It's quite a polished uh, professional done. It's actually, I think, done by a ZDNet uh, group, so it's uh, you know quite a, quite a slick sort of uh, production overall. Um, and, but there are some shows that are actually, um, you know, a bit more, you know, homemade, I guess, so to speak. Um, uh, but regardless, it's all very interesting. It's all fascinating. There are just so many different types of media out there that you can, you can access now. Music is the other thing. So effectively what I've got here is um, uh, all my MP3 uh, WMA slash files. And um, these, again, are just, uh, really, this is just replicating the fold structure that I have set up on my PC upstairs. So I basically have folders A to D, E to L, M to R, S to T, U to Z. And as I go into each one, if I go to A to D, uh, you can see I've got ABBA right at the top, you know, in uh, alphabetical order. You can actually uh, view the list via a list mode like this, um, via icons. Um, you can all you can actually go into the uh, the actual uh, list. So, for instance, let's say these are all the different ABBA albums that I, I've got, and you can actually see that I can again I can toggle between um, icons, small icons, large, and all this cover art is downloaded automatically. So this is again done by um, the Xbox Media Center. It kind of knows it knows from the ID tag of the MP3 what it should be, and it goes out and automatically searches these um, sort of online music databases to download the um, the cover art, which just is a nice little touch. It just means you have something that's quite nice to look at. Although I do find, find from a practical sense, it is actually easier generally for me to browse via the list mode. And then if I go into a, um, a particular album here, you just basically click on that and it's got all the tracks there and I can now basically um, uh, just start up any particular um, 
um, track that I want to listen to. So we'll, we'll, we'll start up Dancing Queen here. It uh, takes um, it takes a few seconds just for the tracks to uh, to load up, basically. Um, uh, so let me see. I just uh, haven't hit that yet. There we go. So it's actually started now. I've got the sound muted, so you can't actually hear it. So I'll just turn the sound back on just uh, temporarily. So you can see basically that um, um, it's now playing the track and it has a little icon of the uh, album cover in the corner. It has the running track time in the corner, 31, 32 seconds, etc. And it has a little scrolling thing just reminding you, a little scrolling uh, sort of uh, ticker down the bottom just reminding you what currently is playing. One of the other things you can actually do with this as well um, is uh, there's a quite a nice um, little display mode that if I press the right button here um, gives you these little psychedelic um, sort of uh, um, I guess party mode type uh, backgrounds so what happens now basically is it's still playing the same music but it's uh, using these sort of random computer generated patterns to uh, give you um, you know just a nice little bit of um, uh, something to look at I guess I mean you could of course have this playing through your amplifier as I often do and uh, turn just turn the TV off and just have the music playing but for instance if you are if you have got a party it's quite nice maybe to have this playing so people can actually see what's playing they can see the little bit of the album cover art down the bottom and there's a little bit of you know interesting kind of little uh, random you know uh, imagery playing in the background uh, which does actually uh, uh, change with the beat of the music the imagery does actually sort of pulsate or sync a little bit to the music um, and then I can just sort of basically turn that off and just go straight back into the uh, music mode here and I'll just stop that now and um, there are playlists that you can have and uh, a few other things I won't go into all of those I mean ultimately I just tend to play through a lot of albums just as I want to I'll just go through them here and uh, just browse and play blocks of music at a time the great thing about this is that you really don't any longer have to go up to um, put a, a, a CD on and you know sort of put a CD on and then take it out and then go into the cupboard and pull another one out of the drawer and stick another CD in to play music. You can literally have many thousands of tracks stored on your computer hard drive and just access them centrally in your lounge and just browse them and play uh, them as you want. It's just really nice having this this sort of massive, um, you know, sort of database of uh, music and video and photos that you can just seamlessly play uh, together.